this story that I'm, I'm bringing to you is proof that if you are a black man in America and you get taken out by just about anybody, there's a good chance that the person who did it might either walk or get a slap on the wrist. And that is the case with this story right here. On the left is a woman by the name of Miracle Rutherford, and on the right is a man by the name of Leslie Galen Young, and he is a former pro basketball player. And this woman was granted diversion, and I'm going to explain what that means in a second, when she drove into a home, and by her doing that, it ended up killing this man. I don't know if she was under the influence or whatever the case may be, but from what I've seen so far, she was doing 60 and a 45. So she was well over the speed limit. So I'm willing to bet she was probably, I wouldn't say in a, she wasn't a residential neighborhood, but she was going way faster than what the sign says that she was supposed to go. Like she was way over that speed limit. But let me go ahead and get into the article itself. And it started off with a correction. It said the correction is Rutherford was released from the Shelby County Jail on September 11, 2021. After posting a bond, she appeared in court Tuesday, but was not in custody. So that's a correction that they threw in there. So it might be somewhere in this article that they got something incorrect. The woman accused of driving her vehicle into a home and killing former pro basketball player Leslie Galen Young has been granted judicial diversion, a type of probation for first time offenders. Records show that 20 year old Miracle Rutherford was released on her own recognizance after appearing in court Tuesday, where she was also granted a three year diversion on her charge of reckless vehicular homicide. She entered a guilty plea on Monday. The district attorney's office says in the early mornings of June 5th, 2021, Rutherford was allegedly driving at a high rate speed on high on Horn Lake Road when she drove off the road, striking a home that lets you know she's going too fast. So that's why I believe she was in a residential area. She had to be. Police originally reported no injuries. A woman in the house told police she lived there with her adult son, but he was not home. Several hours later, family members arrived to help clean up the debris when they discovered the body of 45-year-old Galen Young. He was pronounced dead on the scene. Rutherford was initially issued a citation for the crash, but was later booked into the Shelby County Jail on September 8, 2021 and posted a $30,000 bond three days later. Of course, at 10%, that's only $3,000. Young was a former basketball player for the Hillcrest High School and later played for the UNC Charlotte 49ers. Young also played professional basketball for 13 years, says the DA's office. Rutherford is scheduled to appear in court at the end of her diversion period on March 2nd, 2026. Wow. So that means she only she basically said this diversion. She only got probation. So all she has to do is keep her nose clean for the next four years. I'm sorry, for the next three years. That's crazy. She definitely should have did some jail time behind this, especially on the fact that this woman was driving at a very high rated speed and crashed into someone's home. Like, that's definitely reckless driving, reckless endangerment, vehicular homicide or manslaughter. I, I mean, there's a few charges that she should have been hit with that she was not given any. She basically walked right away for killing this man. And people get mad when I do my Blackaren ser series. I still have some people that get upset with me when I talk about Blackaren. What do you call this? I want someone to ask me or tell me, what would you call this? I can call it other things besides Blackaren. I'm being tame right now. This woman should be in jail. Because a man is dead because of her recklessness. She literally got a slap on the wrist. She just got probation. She literally got the same thing that uh, when I be doing those Operation Protect the White Boys or throwing in the, the, the white woman in there somehow. She got the same thing they did albeit an exception and not the rule she still got it and again whose blood is on her hands a black man i'm willing to bet if she did this to anyone else she would have got jail time that is a bs whatever they gave her was some crap she should have definitely did some time behind this 
Because had it been, if the roles was reversed and he was the one that did this to her, he most likely would have went to jail. They wouldn't have cared that this man used to play pro ball or whatever athletics he was a part of or what organization he was tied to. Jail time. And that's exactly what she should have got. What lesson is she really going to learn from this? They didn't say anything about taking away her license. They didn't even check to see if this woman was under the influence. Like, what in the world was she doing driving that fast in a 45? But, again, like I said, look at who the victim was. And that pretty much tells you why she was able to walk away from this.